Good afternoon, friends. Uh, today we are at the Lalit Kala Academy. I'm Sanjay Agarwal. I'm joined with the artist Josna Devedi. So she has her solo show here, and this is till the third of November. And uh, she will tell us more about the exhibition and the inauguration, which just took place an hour back. Yes. So um, this is a this is an exhibition which is about. Um, the possibilities of interaction between human beings and nature, especially between women and nature. And this is in the background of the effect of time and aging in uh, both plants and uh, na uh, women, especially women. Because, um, and, and this is a very personal kind of a, a sort of an autobiographical visual display of, uh, uh, you know, what I feel because um, I feel that you know uh, nature has a very cyclical regenerative uh, mode of existence whereas human beings and time on the effect of human beings is very different the way time passes through human beings and the way time passes through nature is very different and as a woman who is uh, what it means for time to pass through a woman's body and what it means to be old when the flowers bloom is what I'm trying to that conundrum that anxiety of growing old against spring against blossoms against uh, ever uh, regenerative power of nature is what I'm trying to depict through my work okay so when did this uh, means thought occur to you to do this work uh, so this specially occurred, I think, I would not say there was a particular point, but uh, these thoughts became more and more uh, clear to me and acute during the COVID time, when everything shut down and there was so much of destruction and uh, you know death around. But even surrounded by death, spring came, autumn came, and seasons changed, and my garden was full of blooms. Yes. And in that bloom, I discovered death. I think you've said and, it. Uh, yes, and I felt that nature is not stopping for anybody. Great. So it's a reflection. Is, I think this succinctly puts, if you ask me to put in a, a sentence, this is what it, it triggered something in me that, you know, I say, we, we feel that, you know, culturally it's mother nature, it's benevolent and it is, uh, you know, it, it, it soothes you. But yes. here we are dying, but the flowers are blooming. Sure. And I, that kind of a contrast I can put them. Uh, I can put myself in that situation, yes. and as a woman, you could experience this better than the men. Yes, yes, and because because uh, society puts so much of you know comparison between uh, flowers and between nature and women, but I feel there is a gap. We cannot completely uh, superimpose women on nature and feel that oh we are one, woman and and nature is one. Yes, we can't feel like that. True. Nature is bigger than us, and it what? has it has its own re uh, raison d'être. Yeah, so that's nice and uh, we want to know more about yourself like uh, when did you start into the art painting? Um, so I started uh, uh, painting 15 years back and um, I am I, I love doing drawings my area of interest is drawings charcoals and photography and over a period of time I have fallen in love with watercolors and uh, one. Stuck to it. Okay, great. And, and it's, it's always, um, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, juxtaposing anatomy with abstraction, anatomy with uh, nature drawing, that interests me. Yes. And uh, like you've had this solo show now, so how many shows you've been through? In your so uh, I have uh, done a lot of online shows and uh, done a lot of art for book illustration. And um, another show that's coming up is in Kerala in uh, uh, December. So yes. Yes. So it clashes with any festival in Kerala? Not at all, because uh, the Kochi Biennale is every two years, so it's okay. going to be next year. Right. So this year I... Great. And what are you going to showcase there? It's going to be a continuation of this. Well, this yes, it's going to be a mix of photography and uh, uh, large works. Right. Something new. So you do digital as well? I do digital as well. Right. So what yes. is the object, subject or like? Nature. Nature again? It's basically the way I approach nature is I break it and I build it again. Whether it is human anatomy or it's nature. The, the method which I apply is to m first make it, then right. open it up. 
opening the forms, opening the meanings, seeing the possibilities and meanings. Great. And I see that your family is here. Yes. So they are really blessed to. I am very blessed to have a family like them. Yes. Uh, they have all stood by me through all my meanderings and uh, experimentations with the, uh, you know, work and uh, they have helped me in such a way that I can devote myself to uh, art completely and not worry Wonderful. about anything. Wonderful. Biggest patrons, I must say. <laughs> yeah, sure. And they would also imbibe, you know, from you so yes. many things yes. for the future. I hope so. Talk about this work. Yes. Like I could, if you could like to. Put I would. Your I would. So from this, this work is again from a woman's perspective, and balloons here are standing for very fragile objects, which are symbolic of desires, aspirations, um, desire for permanence, okay. which we all have. Right. Things shouldn't change. Things should remain like this. They, they and these are the these are but balloons. These are all so fragile. Yes. And with this fragility in her hand, she's surrounded by nature, which has a force of regeneration. Yes. And but these are fragile. They can break at any moment. Yeah, so that that kind of contrast is what I'm trying to bring here. In space. Yes. She's 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 in a very expansive place where she's letting go of the balloons sometimes holding on to them so this is like a conundrum like yeah, you know a, a tug of war it's, uh, properly like you know it's the expression of you yes. to send the message across it goes through and uh, we just want you to if you want to give any social message to the youth of today i think uh, if you ask me to give a message i would just say that you know we must uh, start thinking over and above all the things we've been taught about nature culturally or uh, and and get really curious about nature because there's so much that we don't know about nature and uh, we must think of living in a mutual relationship with nature yeah. neither controlling it nor being subservient we are subservient to it in yes. a way it can completely destroy us but we cannot control it and i think the the sooner we come out of this anthropocentric uh, position, the better it will be for. Yeah, we have to let go of our fears. Yes, the better, better it will be for humanity and also for nature, because nature will regenerate. Sure. So thank you very much, and uh, we wish you all the best you so for your show, and we hope to meet you in Kerala now. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.